This review is for these um, buffing pads. There are 60 pieces. It's a buffing polishing wheel set. Ethan Shank. Um, the container is a slightly different than what is shown in the ad. I believe the ad shows a clear container and you know, this is a pretty solid container. It does hold them um, quite well. So they're definitely packed in there, um, but it, it, it holds them well enough. Um, they come all packed in this plastic bag. I dumped them out here. I have one already attached to my Dremel, my wire Dremel. Um, it fits in the shaft fine, um, no problems. It's, it's not loose or anything else. And what I am going to do is I'll show you dimensions. All of them are pretty much the same dimensions. There's nothing in the packaging to tell you what color is basically what type of abrasive. I believe it is on the ad and, and probably what I'm going to do is have to make a little note and throw it in the container just so that I can remember because honestly I have no idea. Uh, it's fairly easy to differentiate between the colors. Um, you know, that's pretty, pretty easy enough. Um, they are pretty solid. Um, you can see they're kind of, kind of bow in there. Um, but I imagine as they wear down, that'll, that'll kind of go out, you know, that'll, that'll thin out. But, um, to start with, you're looking at probably about a half an inch wide. Um, it's about one inch in diameter to begin with. And then the shaft itself is probably about an inch and a half. I can't get the tape measure down in where, you know, the, the actual washer is down in there. Uh, but I'm going to say it's about an inch and a half. Plenty to fit inside the Dremel. No no problems there at all. Um, all of them seem to be pushed, you know, stamped together. Okay, I don't know if the focus will come in on that or not. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to focus on that. But you can see the, you know, it's stamped in there pretty well. All of them seem to be stamped in there pretty good. Um, slightly different depending on the wheel. Like all the purple ones look like they have these other little washers inserted in there. And then you have these other ones that don't have that. Um, but all of them seem pretty tight on the, the shaft. I don't see any issues with that. Um, what I have used it for, this one here already for, was cleaning off some rust from some tools. I have a pair of uh, old channel lock needle nose pliers here that um, I had found. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it across these just for a minute or two here and just show you exactly how well they work. It does work pretty well. I'm um, going to have to excuse the noise and I am going to have to plug this in here. But um, they do work quite well for this purpose. And uh, I'm sure, I don't know what they, you know, I would want to try them on maybe the edge of of leather and see if that'll that'll sand out the edge of leather and wallets and things like that um i did touch some plastic on a screwdriver or a uh it was a uh yeah a screwdriver that i was doing and i hit some of the plastic with this it does quickly leave slight melt marks on the plastic so i would want to keep that away from plastics these things do uh, definitely melt that when it hits it so here we go i'm just going to show you how easy it is to remove some of this older rust. And I have plenty of tools out in the garage that, that need to go through the same process. So here we go.
All right, so that was just a quick example. I do have better photos in there of what these things look like when they were still pretty rusty. I would normally go a little bit further than that and get closer to these handles and, and really polish this up, but you can see that that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty sharp. It does take out quite a bit of the rust uh, and clean up tools like this quite well. Um, you can see that the channel lock stuff, you could barely see that before, uh, but it cleans them up quite well. And that is, you know, that's good for me. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Something to clean off metal and stuff like that. Light rust on tools, um, you know, and maintain, maintain tools. And what I'll do is I'll go later and clean out the inside of the, the blades there and stuff. But um, they work great. And you can see in the end here um, that it's still pretty, pretty good. I don't know if that's focusing right it's not going to play with me here today yeah that's better so you can see it's still pretty good um started off at one inch it's still right about there maybe seven eighths of an inch now um but it holds up quite well to that type of stuff and that's exactly what i'm looking for uh for the price can't be beat you get 60 of them um quite a few different types of of uh, abrasives here different you know thicknesses of abrasives and it's a it's a good set i would definitely buy these again when these are done um these should last quite a while and for the price like i said it's it's definitely worth it thank you